Minnesota Wild. What happened? Uh... Hey, what's up, guys? This is World Wild Frog, and welcome to post game. There were five games tonight on this Sunday, and there are some good games today, so I can't wait to get into this. But make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys do enjoy it at all. Let's get straight into this video. The first teams I'm going to go over is going to be the Minnesota Wild versus the Dallas Stars. And boy, was this a crazy game. Minnesota were up 5-1 going into the third period. Minnesota was up 5-1 in the third period. And they did it again, guys. They stopped playing defense. Then the Stars came back all the way to tie the game and send it to overtime with Hintz, Robertson, Marchman, and Hintz again. Hintz did end up having a hat trick, so good thing for him. But hey, Minnesota... They can't. They gave up three goals in two minute span. That cannot happen. And then hence two minutes left with the empty net. They did score it as well. So great start to the game, by the way. Great first and second period for the Wild, but they just literally turned it off. They were getting good puck luck. They were doing good in front of the net. They're doing all this kind of stuff. And Andre played absolutely horrible today for the Stars. But once again, Dallas comes back in the third period and gets a point. Uh, it's a big point for them. Obviously, they did end up losing in a shootout. The goalies didn't even make a save in the shootout. It was just crazy. It was wild scored all three and the stars scored twice. So crazy shootout. It was a very fun game to watch in general. Big comeback for the stars, but obviously did not getting did not end up getting this two points, but it is okay. But the wild man, I know you got the win, but that, it's like it can't be looking good for in your wild camp right now. Like I would not be happy with this win because boy, that third period was horrible. Up next is gonna be the Chicago Black. Up next is gonna be the Chicago Blackhawks versus the New York Islanders. And in my predictions, I did predict a shutout for the Islanders, and that did happen. They won three to zero, and hey, it was supposed to happen. We expected this. Chicago just had a big win against the Rangers, so I feel like they were gonna come out a little slow, and that's exactly what happened. Only 21 shots in that Islanders had 40, and they ended up winning this game four to zero. Big second period for the Islanders to score all three goals, and it was big. Martin scored, Prezi scored, and Nelson scored. So besides Nelson. Some depth pieces did score in that lineup, which is awesome. And Varlamov played. So Sorokin did not have to play this game for them to get the win. So it just shows that maybe Varlamov can get some confidence in himself and maybe be a very, very solid backup for the uh, future of this season. But hey, big win for the Islanders. They really needed this, man. They really needed this. The Metro was getting very, very tight. And it was a big win for them against an easy team, man. They need to win these games. Sometimes it could be a trap game. But today they did not. And they dominated. And they got the well-needed two points. Up next is going to be the Anaheim Ducks versus the Winnipeg Jets. Jets won this game 5-2. Ducks had a 2-0 lead and just gave it up. Jets scored five unanswered goals on home ice. I mean, they were expected to win this game, and they did. But the one thing I do have a little, like, question about is why is Hellebuck playing this game? Ducks are last in the entire NHL. Hellebuck needs the rest when he can. They should have rested in this game. Like, yeah, you've got the well-needed two points against a bad team, but... You need to rest him because he's going to be playing 40 games the rest of the year. He's going to be playing 65 games this season. Like, he needs the rest against the bad teams because, like, you know I mean, he just needs that. And, uh, hey, I'm surprised they didn't rest him. But, hey, they got the good point. Uh, they got the two points. And he played really, really well. 9-3-3 save percentage. So, a bad start for the Ducks. They were down. Uh, bad start for the Jets. They were down 2-0. But, good thing for them. They came back. Had five different goal scorers. Manolin. Uh, Manolinen, I guess. Uh, Sandberg. Barron. Shifley. And Schmidt did score. So, Got to give props to them. Big comeback victory against a bad team. Sometimes it could go bad against these bad teams, but no, it did not. And they got the well-needed two points in this tough Central Division. Make sure to go check out my Central video on my Central Division so far video. I just posted it today. So make sure to check that out as well. But a big win for the Jets. Obviously, there's really not much to talk about. They're supposed to win this game, and they did. Up next is going to be the San Jose Sharks versus the Buffalo Sabres. It was in Buffalo, and the Sabres did win this game 6-3. to three. They put the puck in the net today against the Sharks. It's a big win, man. Tate Thompson scored again, which is what he does, man. 16 goals. He's absolutely lighting it up this year. But then the Sharks came back, man. They were up 2-1 to one at the end of the first. Nick Benino and LeBanc scored, so it was big for them. But then the depth scores did come back here. P P Peter Kaw? Peter Kaw? I don't know how to say his name. Sorry, but he has six goals, which is awesome for him. 16 seconds left. Uh, 16 seconds into the second period, so that's a huge goal for that. Um, and Jeff Skinner scored. Jack Quinn scored twice. That's awesome for the young kid. You love that. He has six goals on the season, which is awesome. And Alex Tuck does end up scoring late in the third, which is huge for him too, which is their star players are still going to be scoring, which is awesome. To, and you love to see that, man. And Uka Pekalukinen did play today. He didn't play great, but these are the games that he needs to play, man. Against the worst teams in the NHL, he has to get this experience under his belt. And he did it today. And we got a big, 
big win obviously wasn't a great performance but sometimes you'll take this win anyway especially for that experience like i was talking about but big win for the sabers they deserved it in this game and they were in control basically the entire game up next and the last game of the night guys is gonna be the detroit red wings versus the columbus blue jackets on score was four to two to detroit and it was a good game and a lot of offense a lot of shots on net. goalies played well who so had a very good game after after a very bad last game he did play so he came back and had a 9-4-1 save percentage which is awesome you love that from him red wings started hot man this is uh zarnik scored kubalik has 10 goals on the season very very good season for him very surprising year in my opinion for him i did not expect this so big big for the red wings on that and raymond did also score which is awesome they need to get him going because he's a big big piece to this lineup it was good for them they were up 3-0 in the second halfway through and bork scored then ken johnson at the beginning of the second uh beginning of the third he did score as well so columbus almost net the comeback but nope andrew cop ended that real quick in the third period to make it a 4-2 lead for the red wings big win for them um they really needed this they against they they, they, they should have won this game and they did man the blue jackets are not that good of a team and red wings are a way better team and they showed that today red wings got a huge win in uh columbus columbus is a tough place to play man even though they're not good their fans come ratty every single time and that's exactly what happened today it was a good atmosphere in the building but detroit came came to columbus and got the w all right guys that is going to be this video please drop a like subscribe if you guys do enjoy it i'll make sure to check out all of my other videos this is much appreciated thank you all for being here much love and subscribe motherfuckers